itself. So let me explain you the difference between security of the state, law and order and public order. Right? Now if you look at it, it is the public order and the security of the state which is there in the constitution. Right. So when you talk about these three words, law and order, public order and security of a state, only public order and security of a state is there in the constitution. Law and order is absent with regard to reasonable restriction. Right? Okay, on this ground, the reasonable restriction can be imposed. Now, what is the meaning of it? So, the court very beautifully explained that this can be understood as a concentric circle. Right? It means that if there is a situation whereby the people are fighting among each other, there might be some sort of violence, but that violence is still at the stage of law and order. Now, as soon as the general public starts to be inconvenienced, their life and liberty is starting to get affected, right? Then the question becomes grave and the question becomes a public order. Now, see how the difference is very, very subjective, right? So, it is not the executive who will decide ki whether this is a law and order problem or a public order problem. It is the judge who will decide ki whether it is a law and order problem or public order. The best example is that movie called that movie Padmavati, yes. Padmavat and Padmavati, yes. Now, if you look at that particular movie, what the reasonable restriction was imposed? Public order. And the Chief Justice in that particular case very clearly said that it has nothing to do with public order, it is merely a law and order problem. It is not a public order problem. Understood that particular point, okay, right? So, the difference between law and order and public order is simply that if the general public start to get inconvenienced, right? Uh, inconvenience is caused on general public. It means that the rights of the general public is started to be restricted because of that situation. Then only it becomes a public order problem. Otherwise, it is a simple law and order problem. And that was very correct also in that movie. If movie would have been on the cinema halls, do you think normally a 90% of the public care? Don't. That it is not a law, it is not a public order problem, it is merely a law and order problem. Now, when it becomes again much graver and the instrument of the state started to being attacked, started to attack on parliament, started to attack on instrumentality of the state, anything, right, which is the uh, which is the you know sort of so of state that these are the officers of the state. So, when you start and go attack them then it becomes the security of the state okay however this yeah <laughs> right however same person yes same cause can have three different table of effect like for example if i am standing in the state of uttar pradesh and saying that the state of up should be cut out of from india people might laugh so it is neither a law and order problem <laughs> not a public order problem okay but if i stand in Jammu and Kashmir <laughs> say the same thing it might create a public order as well as the security of a state problem right so actually it is the effect which is relevant not the cause and that is where the court have said that the effect should be most probable the security threaten ho rahi hai, a public order problem create ho gai. understood mere by an apprehensive that it might create in future would not amount a very interesting judgment was there that there was a person who stood up in the front of golden temple and started to abuse security agencies in india right and he the court said that his statement was merely a law and order problem it means he could continue to abuse and so that particular and that is a good thing actually right when you allow someone to say whatever they want then what will happen that the people might not take notice but once you stop them people do take notice like for an example that uh, uh, there is one Patrakar, what's his name, who was arrested by the UP police from uh, uh, Tamil Nadu itself, he was Faruqi, something, something Faruqi. No, no, the Gujarati, the, the, the separate, he was a comedian. No, no, there was one, one Patrakar also, he went to that uh, Hathras case, he was arrested, what's his name? No, no, there was one, there was one there. Yeah, short. There was uh, someone online will tell me the name of that person. Ah, there was a person, right? So no one knew him as a journalist. But once he was arrested by UP police, everyone knew that he was a journalist. 
Right? Same thing happened with Alt News founder also. Right? He also uh, mysteriously, yes. But he was given bail, right? Recently he was given bail, right? So the question again, there also the same thing question was. That whether it is violating law and order or public order. Right? Now who will decide that whether it is violating law and order and public order? The court will decide. Now the security of a state is not much of relevance. Why? Because anyway, once the restriction is based on public order, even though the security of a state is not violated, the consequence will remain the same. Right? So it doesn't matter actually the difference. The main difference matter between the law and order and public order. Understood that particular point? Understood? Quite simple. Yes. There was a specific question in that in your exam. What is the difference between law and order and public order? Yes.